this is like half a month overdue at this point, but here's the video you guys have been asking about non-stop since the first. It is the best of lip balms from 2019. Uh, as I mentioned in the other video, it was a kinder, gentler year for lip balms. Uh, there wasn't very much in the way of really bad ones. It, there's a lot of mediocre, but not bad. But there was a bunch of really good ones, and some very surprising ones as well that made it into this list. And this may be a new record for a number of things that got a perfect 10 rating. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 things got a perfect 10 rating all year. And that was with skipping a bunch of days and stuff, so imagine if I had actually stayed on task and done one every day of the year like I normally do, huh? Yeah, that, but anyways, so... We are going to start with the things that got in eight. So, we have got the Lip Smacker Wookie Cookie Warrior, the Avon Moisture Therapy, the Sun Bum Cocoa Balm in Aloe Wave, another Lip Smacker in Cool Berry Droid, Blistex in Sugar Plum Dream, which, just because how much I like it, I feel like it should be higher, but by the numbers, got an eight. The Chapstick Total Hydration Tinted Lip Oil in Warm Pink. The, um, oh, what brand was this? I forget what brand it was, but, um, this is the An Elf Story Red Velvet. The Winky Lux Double Matte Whip Waterproof Lipstick in Angel Food. The Kiate London Glitter Flip in Infamous. And the Buxom Full-On Plumping Lip Polish in Claire. Now, for the things that got an eight and a half. It's a shorter list, but let's scoot these out of the way so I can just scoot the tripod up. Yeah, we have four over here. I'm just going to stick these back in the caboodle as I go so I don't have to clean up. So the things that got an eight and a half are the Rudolph the red Nose Reindeer Bubble Gum. Or Bumblegum, I'm sorry, Bumblegum. The Crazy Rumors Citrus Bergamot. The Eos Opal Aura Tinted one, the color changing one. And the Eco Lips Pumpkin Spice, which I have been using almost non stop since I reviewed this. Uh, pretty predominantly, even though you can't really tell. I mean, it's so thin that a little goes a long way. It's only down that far. I feel like it should be down way further than that for how much I've been using it, but anyways. So, those were the 8.5s. That brings us up to the 9s. There's a lot of 9s. Not as much as in previous years, but still a lot. Let's scoot it to center it. We have the Sun Bum Cocoa Balm in Wild Strawberry, and also the Sun Bum Cocoa Balm in Banana Cream, which oddly, for as much as I insisted up and down, it smelled like popcorn. I mean, it kind of still does, but it's closer to Play-Doh than anything, but I, I guess I do kind of a little bit get banana out of it now. It's the strangest thing. I didn't before, but now I kind of do. The, um, An Elf Story Strawberry. The... Eos in Jade Matcha Tea. I love this one. I Is this one that has a visible dent? I feel like this one is. Yeah. Yeah, I've put quite the heavy hit on that one. <laughs> uh, and we'll probably polish that sucker off. Also, the Eos Aquamarine Mint. This one I don't think is as visible, because I kind of forgot I had it until a couple months ago, but I still, during those power outs, managed to, uh, anxiety put a hit in this one for lack of anything better to do, so there is that. Also, the Chapstick Total Hydration with Essential Oils in Happy, and this is the one with, um, with Orange and Lemon. And this one is down a good deal. I managed to polish off the other uh, essential oil one, the grapefruit lime one. I may buy another of it because I liked it so much. First total empty I've hit in quite a while. Uh, the chapstick in marshmallow. The sun bum cocoa balm. Yeah, I'm noticing a theme here. A lot of cocoa balms got nines. In ocean mint. I love this one. This one, another one with a nice visible hit on it and I had kind of forgotten about it but I think I'm gonna Put it back into my arsenal as of today, now that I see it again. I may have to clean it up a little first, though. The Blistex Peppermint Joy. 
and the Lip Smacker Devil's Food Cake, which this is an oldie but goodie, but yeah, I haven't really touched it much because it's old, so let's put those away. Only one nine and a half. So freaking close to a perfect score. So close. So close. And it is the 2019 version of Vanilla Mint, the re-release. Um, but I adore this one. I'm putting some on right now. Even as recently as I uh, opened it. Yeah, another one with a nice visible dent out of it. Just saying. I'm working to try to actually start using things all the way up instead of being like, no, I must preserve them forever. Now I'm like, for how much I spend on these, that's effing stupid. I need to start using them up. So, okay. Perfect tens for 2019. We have the Nivea Moisture Lip Care. The Crazy Rumors Orange Bergamot. Yes, I know that the Citrus Bergamot did not get a 10, yet this one did. Go figure. The newer one did not. The old one did. I don't know either. The uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer sugar cookie the Lacura Be Kissed Lip Balm in Cherry which is another one I forgot about till today and was like oh yeah I should use that one some more the Crazy Rumors in Honeycomb I love this one Chapstick in Graham Cracker I noticed that two of the three from the s'more set did really well and then the other one made it into the worst of list I feel kinda bad about that <laughs> Um, the Ecolips in Candy Cane, another one that I've been using to absolute death, even though there's barely a visible mark out of it because it's just so thin, so it's probably going to last a good long time. The Moroccan Magic in Peppermint Eucalyptus, yet another one where it was like, I totally forgot I had that, but now that I'm reminded, I'm going to start using it again. The Burt's Bees Ginger Lime, I think I put a dent on this one, did I? A little one. I should start using that more again. And finally, the Burt's Bees Watermelon, which is a newcomer, but oh my god, how I love this one. So, that is it for the best ofs for 2019. Uh, what will we get now that it's 2020? I guess we're gonna have to just wait and see. I'm really excited because I feel like this is a good sign that the lip balm companies are listening to our complaints and to the things we like and they're putting more emphasis on the things we liked and they're doing away with things we didn't. I feel like it's a good sign. So anyways, that is it for this one. So you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy. I have a subreddit now for lip balms. That's also down below. You should check that out. Let's get that community booming. Uh, if you want to donate, because you like what I do here on this channel or for whatever reason, Donation link also is down in the description. Get your name on the end card for a month from the time of donating and grab yourself some donator perks. Or don't if you don't want them. You're not obligated. So, anyways. And as usual, in case you need to hear it today and you haven't yet, I'm proud of you. I love you. You're doing a great job. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oops. And knocked it over in the last moment.